why was God angry with Balaam? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. So let's get into it. So when it comes to this event, let's just read a couple of lines to basically give you the context and basically begin to unpack it. And I'm also going to give you in today's video, after we read these couple of lines, right, the view I used to have for a few years and also what happened to me recently, a few months ago, when I was basically recording a specific video, which basically gave me the answer I'm going to give to you today in this video. So let's read a couple of lines in Numbers so you can get the context and then we'll come back. So reading the Numbers, it says, And they came to Balaam and said to him, Thus saith Balak, the son of Zippor, Let nothing I pray thee hinder thee from coming unto me, for I will promote thee unto very great honour, and I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people now i know this is getting a bit like wait what's going on like cursing and all these different kind of things but i don't worry we'll basically explain this as we come back after reading the next couple of lines and also give you the answer to today's question as well so let's continue with the narrative and it continues and balaam answered and said unto the servants of balak if balak would give me his house full of silver and gold i cannot go beyond the word of the lord my god to do less or more now therefore i pray you tarry ye also here this night that i may know what the lord will say unto me more and god came unto balaam at night and said unto him if the men come to call thee rise up and go with them but yet the word which i shall unto thee that shalt thou do and the scripture continues and goes on to say and balaam rose up in the morning and saddled his ass and went with the princes of moab and god's anger was kindled because he went many people read through this event in numbers and they basically walk away thinking to themselves Wait, hold on. Why was God angry with Balaam? Didn't God tell Balaam to go, right? That's what we're going to unpack very clearly and specifically in today's video. And hopefully this will be a blessing for you and just show you how to ultimately read the Bible even better. Now, we've kind of given you the answer already, if you were paying attention when we was actually reading. But before we do that, I want to give you just what I used to believe previously, right? So just to give you a little bit of additional context, he basically asked God twice. And I read this for so many years, thinking to myself, well, like why did God get angry with him if God told him to go and I used to believe for a few years that what basically happened was God was basically being sarcastic with Balaam the second time ultimately he asked God previously should he go and God said no and then ultimately because he continued to pester God but God was basically like okay go if you want basically and that was something I used to think for quite a few years thinking to myself maybe that's what it was like God was just basically telling him what he wanted to hear even though God is basically saying look he's basically going to judge him because he ultimately doesn't want to listen this is something you see in scripture certain times when someone is basically just wicked and they're basically trying to get god to basically coastline with what they're basically doing glory be to god what happened in a recent video i did a few months back about what's commonly referred to as numbers 31 17 to 18 which is a common objection people like to bring against the bible for why god is immoral etc we did a whole video on that i'll link it in the description box below and we basically unpack some of the misconceptions that people have in regards to that particular scripture ultimately but i was basically doing just some context reading for that video and i basically decided to read some of the elements in regards to what we covered today in regards to balaam because that has some context to that video specifically and as I was reading it, it just like the page opened up to me and I saw things in a different light. Now, let's basically read just a couple of lines from what we read previously and hopefully you'll be able to see what happened. So just remember, Balaam came to God a second time and asked him, shall I go with these people? And what did God say? God said, if the men call upon you, then basically go and do what I actually say. Now, what is it that we read in the very next line that the scripture says happened? And Balaam rose up in the morning and saddled his ass and went with the princes of Moab. So notice this. Did you catch it? God said to Balaam, if the men come to call you, then go with them and basically deliver. Say the words that I say. But the very next sentence says, and Balaam rose in the morning, saddled his ass and basically went with the princes of Moab. So he didn't even wait for the people to come to him a second time. He basically just got up early in the morning and basically went along with them. So you can see specifically, just by reading it a little bit slower, why God was justified to be angry with him. Because God said something very specific to him. If the men come to you, then you basically go and say what I say. But he wanted to go so much, he didn't even wait for them to come. He just basically got up early and basically went with the people. So that basically answers today's question, why was God angry with Balaam, even though he said he should go? Ultimately because Balaam didn't listen specifically to what God said. And this is an example of how 
precise listening to what God actually says can actually be. But ultimately, since we talked about numbers, there's actually two videos we've done on numbers previously. One about understanding the book of numbers as a whole. I'll link that in the description box below. And also the numbers 31, 17 to 18 video we talked about as well earlier in today's video. Either way, both of those videos are going to be in the description box below. But I recommend you watch this video right here. It's the video understanding the book of numbers as a whole because we've got some powerful connotations or correlations with the New Testament that will probably be very beneficial to you. So I'll see you on that video. Thanks and take care.